Hello guys. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a dodge game on Scratch. So the first, the first thing I'm going to start by deleting this sprite because we don't need this one. And then I will start adding the sprite that I would like to use in my game. So for me, I'm going to use a spaceship that I got from Google, but you can use uh, any spaceship sprite that you can find here in uh, in the library uh, for Scratch, okay? So in order to upload my Scratch, I'm going to uh, choose the option that says here, Upload Sprite, okay? Then I'm going to choose my sprite. And there you go. I have my first sprite now. As you can see, the sprite is too big. So I need first to consider making it um, much smaller. But before this, I have to use the trigger first. I have to go to events and choose the trigger which is the, like how my program on my game is going to start. I, I will choose the first one that says when the green flag is clicked. And after this block, I can add another block that will make my sprite go smaller in size. So I will go to looks and I will find the one that says uh, set size to 100%. And instead of 100%, I'm going to change it into 25%. Oh, sorry. 25%, okay? Then I'm going to try and see what will happen. As you can see now, I think that this is the right side for right size for my game. Now, um, I need I need this game to actually uh, this spaceship to dodge other other sprites. So, for this to happen, I need the I need this sprite to follow the mouse everywhere uh, the mouse goes. So how can I do this? I can go to motion and I will find um, a block that says, go to random position. Okay, so instead of random position, I'm going to choose mouse pointer and I will try. Look what happens. It did follow me just one time. But for the game, I need I need it like to be following me all the time. So I have to use another block that can make this happen, which is the forever loop, okay? Now, when I put the, when I put this block inside the forever loop, now the spaceship will follow me everywhere. Look, yeah, that's it. So now I need to add more sprites because this spaceship will be do dodging other sprites, right? So for this game, I'm going to be using the soccer ball. So I will go to the library and I will go to sports. And I will choose the soccer ball, okay? So now I have two sprites, the spaceship and the soccer ball. So for the soccer ball, I'm going to choose also at, at the same trigger from events when the flag is clicked. And then I'm going to choose for the spaceship, actually start from a specific pl place on the screen. And I can do only this by the coordinates of X and Y. So I will choose the one that says go to X and Y. And I can choose exactly where the, I want the ball to be, okay? At the beginning of the game. Then I'm going to choose another, another uh, block that says point in direction 90. I will tell you later why, why would I want to use this block. As you can see, if you click here, you will see uh, something that looks like a clock and an arrow. So this means that this actually this sprite is pointing to the right. Okay. So if it's going to move, it's going to move to the right. If it's going to uh, uh, like a bounce, it's going to bounce to the right. So this is the point from using the point uh, in direction block. Okay. So what else do I need this uh, ball to do? I need this ball to actually hit uh, hit um, the edge of the screen and go back, okay, like this. So how can I make this ball do this? I'm going to still use the forever uh, loop again, like this. And I will tell 
the soccer ball to move 10 steps, this means it's going to be moving like forever. If I told the, if I, if I told the, uh, the soccer ball to only move 10 steps, it will only move 10 steps and then stops. But now it's going to move forever. I have another block here that says if on edge bounce. Okay, I will add this block also. And then I will try to see what happens. As you can see, the soccer ball is actually going from one edge to, uh, to the other. And this is exactly what I need in my, in my game because I need to be dodging, the, dodging this with my spaceship, okay? Now, now uh, I, since that I finished the, the first uh, code for the game, I need to add more sprites, like exactly like this soccer ball. So how can I add another uh, soccer ball with the same code? I'll just go here and right click, I find duplicate. Now I have two uh, soccer balls, I can do this again. Right click, duplicate, I have three soccer balls. So I need to change where the soccer balls appear. So I'm going to write here minus 200 for the X and 150 for the Y, okay? And then I will try. So can you see? I need to change all of them. Minus 200 and 150. And also the second one, minus 200 and 150, okay? Now when I click the green flag, I can see that they are all at the same place. I cannot see them because they have the exact same <laughs> coding. So how could I make them appear like in a different way? I have to go to control and add a block that, say, that says wait one second, okay? For the third ball, I'm going to also add another one that says, wait one second, but I'm gonna make it two seconds. And I will check again. Let's see what happens. Now I can see the three balls. They are bouncing on the screen and uh, in a different timing, okay? Now I can go back to the spaceship. Uh, I need to add like a sound to the spaceship that I can hear each time it, it actually touches one of the balls. So how can I do this? I'm going to add something called the if block, okay, inside the forever loop. And I'm going to tell the computer that uh, if this spaceship touches the ball, then I want you to play the pop sound for me. So I go to something, uh, to the, the part that says sensing, and I'm going to choose the one that says touching, and instead of touching the mouse, I'll choose touching the soccer ball. So if the spaceship is touching the soccer ball, then I, I need you to play a certain sound for me. Now I don't have any sound here because I didn't add any. So I have to go to sounds and add the sound that I like to my game, like the pop sound, this one. And now when I go back to the code, I will find it here. So now I can add it. If you're touching the soccer ball, then you have to play the pop sound. Let's try this. Okay. Now, now you can hear the pop sound, but only for one ball. Okay. So how can I make it for all the balls? I can simply just duplicate this block and change this one to soccer ball two, and then duplicate it again and change the third one to soccer ball three okay now whenever the space the spaceship is going to touch any any one of the balls i can hear the side the pop sound that's how can uh, i can make it now the game is getting even more and more cool so next part i need to add a score like i need to know how many times did <laughs> did my uh, spaceship touch the other balls like i need i needed to count up okay so how can I uh, make a score for my game? So I have something here called variables. I'm going to go to variables and then click on make a variable. And I'm going to call it hits. And I'm going to make it only for this part, only for the spaceship. And I click OK, and then I click OK. Then I'm going to set the, 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 the hits variable to zero every time I start. Of course, I need it to be zero. Look here what happens. It appears on the screen by the name. I can double click it and change how it looks to just show me the number of hits. So 
I will tell the computer that I want him to count by one every time my spaceship actually touches one of the one of the bows. So I will say change hits by one, change hits by one, change hits by one for each bow. Okay. Now let's try again. As you can see, counter is going up, hits every time. I hear the pop sound and every time my spaceship touches any of the bows, okay? Yeah, that's very nice. Now, if I go like this, I can go on forever and forever and I need to have like a certain time for my game, like let's say 10 seconds. So for, for the timer, I'm going to add another va a variable and I'm going to, to name it timer. And this time I'm going to make it for all sprites because it's concerning all the sprites. Now I have the timer here, I can change where I can see it. Mm -hmm. I still tell the computer to set the timer to zero whenever I start my uh, game. And then I'm going to tell the computer to change the time by uh, 0.01. So that it can it will be counting while I'm playing, and I'm going to add another if block here at the end of the game to tell the computer that it has to stop what when the, the time is actually ten seconds because I needed like the game to for me to me to, to be ten seconds. So what exactly will stop after ten seconds or when it's more than ten seconds? The timer. Yes, very good. So I put it here. And how can I tell the computer to stop? I'm going to go to control. I'm going to find a block here that says stop all. So this means the game will stop uh, after the timer counts uh, 10 seconds, okay? Let's try. Okay, sorry, this is this problem here because it's, it, the, I didn't change the name here from hits to timer. I have to change the timer because this is the one that, that's going to be counting. That's why the timer was not counting. So let's try this again. As you can see, the timer is counting and the hits also is counting every time I'm touching the balls. And it will stop after 10 seconds according to the coding that I did. We're just trying to make sure that our timer is working. This means we succeeded. <laughs> wow. So as you can see, the game has stopped after 10 seconds. Now, if I want to make my game even more and more uh, nice, I can add a, a background for my, for my game. I just chose this background because I like it. It's called the Neon Tunnel. And also I need to add more, uh, more uh, enhancements to the game. So instead of like having this ball going right and left, I'm going to make it go up and down because I think up and down is like, uh, nicer. So how can I change this from uh, right to left to up and down? I'm going to go to direction and I'm going to take this uh, arrow down. So this means that this uh, uh, the soccer ball will go up and down instead of going right and left. And for also the other one, the same direction, I'm going to choose the same direction like this. And for the third one, I'm going to choose the third direction also like this. Now let's try, see what happens. Now, the same problem is happening. They are also on the edge. Well, so how can I make them all like across my screen like this? I can change where I can see uh, where the X for each one of them. Like for the first one is like minus 200. For the second one, I can make it minus 100. Let's try. As you can see now, there's a shift. Yeah, and I can make the third one can make it 100 and try again. As you can see, the, go the game now is even more exciting when it's 
across the screen. And I can even add another soccer ball and make it like a score with minus instead of a score with, blue, with plus. So how can I do this first? I'm going to change this to, into 200. And I'm going to see where the, I can see it on the screen. And I have four balls now. I can go back to the spaceship and I can add another, uh, another if block for the third uh, soccer ball. Oh, sorry. So. Oh, sorry, it's, it's when it's duplicating, it's duplicating the entire, uh, I'll choose this one and duplicate it. Okay. Now, instead of, now instead of having this one uh, going up by one, I'm going to make it minus one uh, to make the game more exciting. So the third one will be actually taking points from you instead of giving you points. And I also suggested that this uh, soccer ball should actually look different. So I can go to customs and change how it looks. It, cannot, so it doesn't have to be the same, uh, uh, the same color. I can change the colors a little bit. So it shows that it's a different one, okay? Now, when I play the game and I try to dodge the ball, some of them will take away points from me. Only one will take away points from me and another one will give me points, okay? And I can even make the game more exciting by uh, increasing the number of steps. Like I can make it 20 here with this one. It's gonna be faster. This one could be 30. I can try and see if they're going to be faster if I uh, exceed the number of steps, okay? Yes, as you can see, some of them are extremely fast. Some of them are not so fast. So I do now have the, the hits uh, the hits score and that tells me this, my score. And I have the timer and I have a nice background. So I think it's now more exciting to play the, the game. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed.